Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and as if you can see the VSWR matter, we'll be talking about antennas again and one more time I will be talking about the R9 mini antennas. Important, I'm not talking about the antennas for the N9 Slim, not yet. Maybe later. I'm talking only about the antennas for R9 Minis because I suspect that the antennas for R9 Slim might be slightly, slightly different, although they look almost, almost the same. When I did my last video, when I said that the tune for those antennas is closer to, well, it is 950, not 868 megahertz, um, some people suggested, well, not suggested, said that my measurements with the thingy were wrong because I was touching, touching the ground, uh, uh, the shield of the coax with my finger. No, I was not. I will prove you. You see, I have improved the the thing by applying some solder on it and right now if I will just put the antenna over here and not touch it with my fingers at all, you see, uh, let me focus, I'm not touching, I'm not touching the ground, I'm not touching the antenna, the tune is still at 915 and now look, I touched, I touched the ground. Yes, the tune moved for like 7 MHz, 5 MHz, it is almost not a difference. This is why the tune, then the measurements of the device will slightly change if you touch the ground wire, but slightly. If I would touch the, uh, not the ground, but the hot wire and the measurements went off because look, I'm just slightly covering the hot wire with the with my hand and look what's happening with the tuner. Completely, completely different, different thing. Next. There were questions. Can you change the tune of this antenna from 915 to 868? The short answer is well, kinda, yes, but there are some problems. It's hard to lower the tune frequency of the antenna because that means you either have to make the wire longer, both active and ground, because they should match after all. You have to make the wire longer or make the electricity inside of the antenna travel slightly slower. How to do a slower traveling? Mm. The simplest way is to increase something that is called velocity factor, which is connected with the dielectric constant of the wire, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, the more insulation you have on the wire, the bigger the, the electric or the lower the electric, the velocity factor is slow smaller so the wire can be shorter. This is why that means you can pretend that this 70 millimeter long wire is well kinda longer than it is. How to do it? Let me open, let me connect this to my my thingy, my measurement thingy and let's make sure that the measurement thingy really shows the lowest frequency. Right now the lowest frequency is at, no, so the lowest the VSWR is at the 914 megahertz. You see this is tightly tuned uh, FCC frequency antenna. It's fine. And now what I have over here. This is a small piece of the shrink wrap. This is not shrinking. This is shrink and I only applied so heat. And now I'm gonna put this thing into the on the hot part of the of the antenna and let me connect the thing again. The frequency, let me zoom in again. Ah, the frequency is slightly shifted. The problem. The problem with such an approach is that yes, you can, because the frequency shifted to 9, oh, 
7 that means we change the tune by let's say 8 megahertz. The problem with such an approach when you put a shrink shrink wrap shrink tube on the active part then yes you kinda are increasing the uh, well, lowering the velocity factor but this is not this is the wire would have to be really thicker and the uh, shrink wrap would have to be smaller and I don't actually have any smaller shrink wrap but instead of this I have this thing. This thing is um, antenna tube. Let me cut the antenna tube to the more realistic length. Okay, right now the antenna tube is more or less of the length of the of the active part. Let's put this thing on top of the active element and connect my device. I, I'm sorry, I will have to hold the antenna in my hand slightly because right now it's just too heavy. I showed you before, this almost, almost not changes the tune. And now, look what happened again. The tune again changed from 915 to only the 900 megahertz. So yeah, it is kind of possible to change the tune of the antenna by modifying the velocity factor of the of the wire, but it's complicated. It depends on the on the thing you're gonna put on. Uh, you still have to measure and uh, it's not very flexible because you cannot just move the velocity factor much down higher, lower lower, I always forget lower, because this is not how the physics works. So, if we cannot make the electricity really travel slower through the active element, maybe, for example, we can make this thing longer. This was one of the, of the, of the ideas in the Facebook group, so let me remove the, some of the isolation on this antenna and let's solder a few millimeters of extra wire on top of the antenna. I have to apologize because I don't have any special that thin wire. What I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use this resistor. You see, normal through hole resistor kind of smallish but it has a kind of nice nice thing wire so i'm gonna solder uh, but first i'm gonna fight with the focus of course so i'm gonna solder some of this wire over here to the top of the antenna lovely 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 where are the pliers the pliers I right here and I'm gonna right now make the antenna longer for how much how much longer I made the antenna I made the antenna something like 6.9 millimeters longer let's see how that thing will affect the tune frequency I can tell you already, it will move the tune frequency down, but also will affect SW, VSWR because we are only making this side longer, not both sides longer. But the length of the counter wave is really not, not that much important after all. And like I told you, the frequency shifted. Right now, we have a very, very, very nice tune at 869 by <laughs> I did not measure this before I just cut like almost randomly by making the antenna the same antenna longer by let me count it let me measure this again so we are really 100% sure I made it longer 
for not slightly less no uh, 6.9 millimeters see 6.9 millimeters so now the whole active part of the antenna is exactly around 78 millimeters let me measure this one more time Okay, maybe not 79, but right now, no, seven, no, 78. Exactly, exactly 78 millimeters. I just soldered six extra six millimeters of thin wire at the end of the antenna focus. Like this. You see it? You see it? extra six millimeters seven okay that's extra seven millimeters and by this magical change i made a almost perfectly well tuned 868 megahertz antenna i kind of was expecting that i will have to cut some of the extra wire on top but apparently not so if you are living in the Europe and you are using the original R9M antennas, which is 70 millimeters long, make it 7 millimeters longer by soldering some really thin wire at the end. Finally, it's also a good idea to kind of isolate this. I, you can use, for example, things like this, like the liquid tape. So you just... You, have I ever showed you the liquid tape? Oh, it's an amazing thing. You just take some of this goo, apply this on the wire, wait a few minutes until it uh, until it hardens and you have it. Nice. One more thing. In the next few days, I will also show you how to do make this. This is the converted 2.4 gigahertz antenna for the FR Sky receiver standard crap you can buy from AliExpress for like few cents per piece with the oh IPEX connector at the end or IPEX 4 connector because IPEX uh, would go for R9 slims but IPEX 4 for R9 mini and I will show you how to convert this pigtail or antenna it doesn't really matter to a very nice really very very nice 868 or 900 or universal antenna for your r9 let me just make oh i think see what a nicely tuned antenna cost of making it's like pff, less than one dollar almost nothing perfectly tuned for 868 megahertz and if i want to i can just make it tuned for 915 or because look this is kind of like a white white tune antenna i can make it universal for 900 868 and 915 antenna yeah but this hopefully in a few days okay until the next one bye bye